Hello everybody and welcome to another knockoff review. This little guy's been floating around in the post for some time and I finally managed to collect him. This is the Black Mamba Flame Robot. Uh, the box has been dushed a little bit but that was my end, not the end of TF Direct. This is a window box and on the front there there's some nice artwork, possibly original, quote me if I'm wrong and uh, it's of course Optimus Prime based on his power of the Prime's appearance. Now there is a Velcro window box which does open up revealing Prime in all of his glory and my first impressions of this figure is wow it is big it is literally a chunk of a bot the same size as that MP01 that we got back in the day. A quick look at the back of the box, we see Prime in his vehicle mode as well. And of course it does separate into Orion packs as well. And here we have the big guy out of his packaging. Now you will notice there are some design differences between him and his original counterpart, mainly the fact that all of the kibble is now mounted on those legs as opposed to mounted on the back of the arms which in my opinion does look better uh, it's kind of a blend between the power of the primes version and the titans returns prime that kind of blended the two and that's not necessarily a bad thing i think the overall look and feel is better on this figure it's not without its flaws for example i only got half of the gun <laughs> with mine, uh, maybe because mine was a pre-production and it was a test shot sent out to TF Direct. Uh, and I'm hoping that everybody who have bought theirs, they're going to get both halves of their guns. But this is a beautiful looking Prime. A few tweaks here and there and it could be perfect. Now to give you an idea of his scale, here he is alongside the original. Uh, see that is the similar sort of size to the mp10 so this guy is a very big welcome addition to my collection he stands nigh on shoulder to shoulder with mpp10 so he's a really tall chappy and uh, they've kind of kept that uh, g1 likeness uh, with the paint applications the silver uh, he really does remind me very much of the Rebirth version of Prime. Obviously these two are very different in terms of aesthetic. But that being said, I think uh, the MPP-10, obviously this is painted up. Uh, the original MPP-10 is done in a very similar colour scheme and has the dark hands uh, which are just mushroom pegged. And I believe these are just mushroom pegged as well. So if you have the BB-7 hand upgrade kit, you should, he says, uh, be able to switch out these hands. I think it's not going to take a huge amount of modifying, uh, that's for certain. Or who knows, maybe BB-7 will even release... A hand upgrade kit just for this prime and i know the aesthetic's not quite the same but height wise i think he looks really good alongside the likes of the wei zhang and the robot hero characters now as much as i like the improvements he's still not quite right is he there's still a few flaws in amongst that big chunk uh, mainly what are those We've got a huge gap there on the shin still, something that I really hoped they would rectify. His shoes just don't look right, do they? But there's some serious chunk to this figure. There. But the majority of said chunk is made up by a very welcome addition to my collection, Orion Pax. So if we just disengage these shoulder tabs, like so, and this whole section here can be released with the release tab. Pull that down and slide this out. So we have that empty shell. And here we have one Orion Pax, which just folds out and down, out 
and down, rotates around, and rotates around. Die cast toes, fold outwards, arms can rotate, fists can rotate out and out like so. And then we have this space at the back, head comes up, Prime's head goes down, Pax's torso comes up, and there we have one Orion Pax. Yeah, we have um, <laughs> a bit of, uh, of Prime on the back there, which you can do with what you must, but uh, I love Pax, I think he's brilliant. I mean, in my opinion, the set is worth it alone just to get an Orion Pax in that scale. And I know I've still got the battle damage on Megatron, but for those who want to recreate that scene, I think it's definitely doable. Uh, the Aerobots from Zeta at the moment, I think they look pretty darn good. Silverbolt's gonna be around the same sort of size as Orion, if not a little bit bigger. And I think that works. And as previously mentioned, he does only come with one gun, unfortunately. My other half was missing. And he does come with a rather large, oversized version of the Matrix of Leadership as well, which can just be tabbed in on the inside of his truck mode. Uh, it's not a bad Matrix. I didn't like the fact that you could incorporate the heads, etc. And I don't have any of the Wei Zhang headmasters to hand to either to see if the heads are cross compatible. I mean, it would be cool if you could use those heads. Uh, but for now, this is a pretty darn good looking Orion Pax. It will probably get a masterpiece one sometime by some third party company. But this is a very affordable figure. Now I know I've removed Prime's torso section, but the head did move up and around. We do have this really nice ratchet joint on the shoulder, soft ratchet going out. There's an upper bicep rotation, and we do get a bend on that elbow. So it's all very welcome indeed. And we get that hinged section here. Uh, we get a solid waist lump, but we do get a friction move forward, friction back, friction out to the side, upper thigh rotation. Nice bend on that knee, and the feet are just kind of crazy. They go up, down. Uh, you can kind of drop this down a little bit and have a really flat foot. Um, but it really, it really should have been kind of covered off, and the tilt is still there, and it's nice and tight. Now, as amazing as this bot looks, he does, of course, transform. So to get Flame Robot transformed up, if you haven't already removed the torso section, then please do. We can fold these smokestacks back around and they just tab in nicely into the back of those arms. And open up the top of these arms. The arms are gonna come all the way up. The feet are going to rock upwards and these panel pieces are gonna open up and open up like so. And this whole section here is going to come untabbed and open and open and open and then come all the way around and up and this is going to form the side of that trailer piece the legs will then tab in together on the underside just pushing and locking into position these side panels push and lock so everything sits nice and tidily and then this top piece is going to rock all the way over this arm piece rotates around and as this comes up this is going to come down and it just comes around and this just slides in like so this piece here is going to tab in like this locking into position there we go just tidies all of that up there's this small tab on the fist which is going to tab in to these and these basically lock together much like we did with that piece on the bottom so they're going to tab in and then these are going to line up 
and they should just push from the underside, lock and tab, and then it's a matter of just tidying up this trailer piece. Like so. Wheels almost kind of roll. <laughs> now there is a gap here, which is where we would normally place our gun that goes along here. But like I said, I'm missing the other half of that weapon. Alpha packs, turn these legs down, turn these around. This torso piece is going to drop downwards, untab, untab. This is going to compress upwards and those fists are just going to slide down and this is going to collapse down like so and as we bring this down this should he says tab in to these two points securing it into position that's one and two it just helps kind of lock all of this in and then we can flip Ryan's head downwards these can now come in and as we bring these in these are going to rotate on this axis here so that they're both now forming the rear of that truck this untapped this is going to rock like so and as we bring this down tab here you just need to push tab and hope <laughs> yeah, it's not perfect but it's not bad is it to give you an idea of how he scales here he is alongside some masterpiece figures uh, it's definitely not a masterpiece in terms of aesthetic uh, i love what they've done yeah, it's definitely not masterpiece aesthetic uh, i like all this added section they've done along the side it really does kind of set it off there's a nice space there for wood toy hacks to do their magic as well but I'm just not a fan of this truck section it doesn't hold together as well as I would like but all in all it's not a bad truck mode it's definitely not a masterpiece though I mean it's all right if you want uh, this as a standalone version of a Pax for example maybe this is what he transforms into it's not kind of earth mode yet because he hasn't gone to earth uh, and he's not prime yet but I wouldn't uh, say it would definitely pass as uh, a replacement for the MP10 anytime soon. Speaking of which, uh, they are a very similar size indeed. Now we do still have the ability to bring these hands down and they're meant to just tab in to the back uh, like we did with the original. But again, I don't think it makes a huge amount of difference aesthetic wise I still think it looks quite off but the arms don't really sit as cleanly on there as they do on the original but uh, there we go that's the alternative kind of configuration that's just these pieces here that just do not want to push and stay connected but there we go, that is Optimus Prime in all of his glory. Uh, each to <laughs> their own, I guess. At least the uh, majority of the plastic is the same colour, uh, unlike with the original. I like what they've done, but it's by no means perfect. Once again, I'd like to thank TS Direct for making this review possible. Hope you found it useful. If you have, feel free to give it a big thumbs up, share, and of course, subscribe. And until next time, for myself and the oversized version of Power of the Primes, Optimus Prime, a uh, good bye.